Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this gender reveal pull breakable heart. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to be starting with our mold and our two colors. We have some baby pink, but as you can see, I dropped a few pieces of red chocolate in the baby pink and then in the baby blue i actually dropped a few a few pieces of navy blue and we're going to be thinning out these colors with paramount crystals so that's what you'll see me adding here and this is actually what i'm going to use in replace of the coconut oil that i normally use and i will link it below um paramount crystals are just little flakes of oil and when you put them into the chocolate they actually melt um, down into the chocolate and they make your chocolate a lot thinner so as you can see we started out with like that baby teal type color and the fact that i dropped those um, maybe like five or six pieces of navy blue in there it gave me a deeper blue so that's what i did with the same as the with the pink i dropped a few red in there and it gave me a deeper pink so as you guys know i like to mix my chocolate colors and so i'm just stirring here i ended up adding some more paramount crystals just because it wasn't um a thin enough consistency for me so now i actually came out with a perfect consistency and then we're gonna go into just half of this mold don't have to be perfect guys i mean if you want yours to be perfect you absolutely can make yours perfect but um i'm not doing a perfect i'm kind of using the line down the middle of the heart as a guide to do half but it's not going to be a perfect straight line down the middle and that's okay So now that I got the chocolate down in there, I'm just using the back of my spoon in almost like a paintbrush motion to go up the sides of the mold. And that's what you'll see me doing here. Just kind of making sure I cover the sides um, because if you haven't, if you've never made a breakable heart, um, your the sides of your heart is what really matter and what really allows you to get it out of the mold. Um, if your sides are too weak, they will crack and it will be very hard to get it out of the mold. So that's why I pay a lot of attention to reinforcing the side because naturally when you put the chocolate in there, it naturally falls down to the bottom. So the bottom is always a lot thicker than the sides actually are. And this is that pink. Like I told you, we had like a very, very light pink, but just the fact that I dropped a few pieces of red chocolate in there, it did give me a deeper pink. As you can see, I'm just going to do the same motion with my spoon up the sides with the pink and then when i get to the middle where the two colors meet i'm going to make sure that the pink overlaps the blue just a little bit um, because you don't want the two different colors of chocolate to separate from each other so if you just overlap the blue just a little bit that will um, stick them both together and you won't have to worry about the two colors cracking in half when you actually take it out of the mold I do want to add that the blue chocolate did go in the refrigerator by itself for about 10 minutes before I actually added the pink. Um, so I know I was telling you guys about colors, but I wanted to add that I did refrigerate the blue before I added the pink. And now it's all going to go back into the refrigerator before we do the next step. So now that our heart is back in the fridge, we're going to actually work on the pull part of it. So in my last um, pull video, I showed you guys how to do it with money. But this time we're just going to use some pink and blue construction paper, whatever kind of paper um, you have. We're just going to fold that into four equal pieces and then we're going to cut so, we do so that we end up with strips. Okay, so now we ended up with eight of the color strips. And so the gender is actually a boy. So the way that we're going to do this is 
the beginning of the pull is going to go like boy, girl, boy, girl. And then eventually it's going to turn into all blue for boy. We're doing that so we can kind of confuse the couple and build up suspense. So that's why you see me just taping the long strips of blue. This is actually going to be the end of it when they um, realize that it's a boy. And then at the beginning, you're going to see me cut um, little pieces of pink and blue and then tape those together. So to kind of confuse them a little bit, build suspense, you know, make it fun for everybody when they're pulling it out. You can make this as long as you want. Um, the longer, the more dramatic it is. But just keep in mind that it all has to fit inside the heart. So you can't, you know, make it too long because all of that paper will have to fit securely inside of the heart. So what I'm doing now is this will be the beginning of the pull and so they'll be kind of confused with the pink, blue, pink, blue. And I'm taping it on both sides because in order for your paper to come out evenly, it has to be completely flat. So that's why I'm taping it on both sides because you don't want any of the paper catching. Um, if it's like only taped down on one side and not taped on the other side, it might actually open up. And then when they're pulling it out, it might catch on the chocolate and not be able to um, smoothly come out so that's why i'm completely taping it on both sides down flat and we're going to do the pink blue pink blue pink blue and then we're going to attach that to the long strip of blue which will be the end where they'll find out that they're actually having a boy So now we're just going to roll that paper up tightly. And so you're going to start with the actual gender. Um, the, the end of it is what you want to start rolling first. You don't want to start rolling it from the pink, blue, pink, blue, because that's the part that they're, they're actually going to pull out first. So I'm just rolling it very tightly into like a roll. And then I'm going to use a little piece of tape just to keep it all rolled up while we continue working on the heart. So now our heart is back out of the fridge. It was in there for about 15 minutes while we worked on the paper. And now I'm only going to go around the sides again um, with the pink and blue chocolate. Um, since this is the inside, you could have just used one color and just went around and made the um, sides thicker. But since I have both colors still there, I'm just going to re go over the blue with the blue and then go over the pink and like i said just the the actual sides of it because the bottom is pretty thick because all the chocolate did fall down to the bottom And there we have it, guys. So now this is going to go back into the fridge for about 10 minutes. So now it's back out of the fridge and I'm just using a butter knife. And this is how we're going to create that slit to actually pull the paper out. So I'm just 
using my butter knife and I'm using a little pressure just to create that slit. I'm not actually putting any force down on the actual heart because pressing down on the heart may cause it to crack and break. So I'm holding the, the heart gently, but I'm using only the a little bit of pressure from the butter knife to actually create that slit. You can also heat up your butter knife. You can actually like put it to your stove for a little bit and it'll um, allow you to go through the chocolate a little bit smoother um, as well. But I didn't heat mine up. I actually don't do that, but I have seen other people do that and that may be easier for you. So I'm just using my butter knife to continuous go through that slit. And then um, you want to make sure you do measure your paper or whatever. You don't have to use paper to actually pull it out. You can print out pink and blue dollar bills if you want or a ribbon or whatever. Um, I'm just using paper just to kind of show you guys. This is my test run for this order. So now I'm using my cake scraper to go around and clean around the edges. Um, the reason why we do this is so we can get a clean bottom on the bottom of the heart so it sits down flatly. And then also... Um, it helps when you're actually taking it out of the mold because you don't have those pieces of chocolate overlapping, actually stopping it from coming out of the mold. So now we're just going to go around and we're going to peel back those edges and we're just going to peel a little bit. This is the part that you want to be kind of patient. Just go back and peel it. Just keep peeling it back a little bit as you go around. Don't try to force it. It'll come out. And if you just keep going around, it'll eventually pop all the way out. Like I said, don't try to force it. So I'm just cleaning off those extra shavings. And then at this point, you can actually um, measure to see if your slit um, is long enough and wide enough. You can kind of test it. And I'm just using my knife just to widen it just a bit. Um, you want your, you don't want your paper to like um, have any resistance coming through the slit. So just make sure you measure that and test it out. So now I've used my letter and my baby foot mold to cut out old baby. And then I've actually painted that gold with my luster dust mixed with a little bit of lemon extract. So now we're gonna assemble it all. Okay, like I did tell you guys, this was a test run. So now you see me putting a bunch of blue candy in because the idea that I had was once they pull the gender out, um, pull the paper out and find out the gender, then they also can use a hammer and break it afterwards. And then they'll have a bunch of blue candy on the inside. I also, I made this bow out of um, pink and blue ribbon. And this bow is what I'm going to actually attach to the paper in order to make it pull out. So I attached two pieces of string. I tied the middle of the bow with a piece of string and then I'm gonna feed that actually through the slit. And then I'm gonna attach the paper to the bow from the back of the heart, you'll see. So I'm feeding it through now. And then on the back, I'm gonna um, take those two strings and I'm gonna attach those to the money, I'm, I'm sorry, to the paper roll that we made. I'm gonna tape it to the top of that and I'm gonna feed that paper through where it's just poking out just a little bit but the bow sitting on top is what actually is going to cover it up so they can't see so i'm just using a piece of tape just to tape those two pieces of ribbon down and so when they actually pull the bow up um, it'll pull the paper up as well and it'll all um come out evenly and smoothly what I was saying about the blue candy is I realized um, you can use blue candy, but with the amount of paper and the placement of the candy, it made it hard when I did get ready to pull it out. So I had to readjust that candy and make sure it wasn't in the way of the paper. You see how I sit it? I sat it like that and it's like, it's almost like it's too much in there. It's like it's too um, much. So what you want to do is actually, if you're going to put candy, put the candy around the edge or just put blue confetti or whatever you want to put on the inside. But you can't sit the candy directly under the paper like I did because it did um, make it hard for the paper because it smushed the paper and the paper needs room so it can roll as you're actually pulling it out. So now I'm going to use piping gel and actually get those letters down on top of the heart you can actually use chocolate to sit these as well but i'm going to use piping gel 
and um, the tip that I gave you guys before, when I'm spelling out a word, I always usually start in the middle, but these were even um, letters. O was only two letters and baby was only four, so it was easy for me to know. But if it was a name or a longer word, I usually start with the letter that's in the middle and then I work my way out. And that's how I always make sure that my um, words are completely centered on like my cakes or my cookies or whatever. Um, but these were easy because it was only two and four and the heart actually has a, a, a line down the middle to tell you the exact middle. But if you were doing it on something else and you need to make sure you're centering the name or the happy birthday or whatever, um, count your letters, find the middle letter, put the middle letter down first and then work your way out. And that's how you always make sure that your word is completely centered. So, like I said, I'm just sticking these down with piping gel. And so this is how it came out, guys. So stinking cute. And the bow completely covers up the slit. So you can't even see what's going on under, even though the money's, I'm sorry, the paper is sticking out just a little bit. And so now we're pulling it up. We use the bow to pull it up. And because, like I said, that candy was right there, it was creating a little bit of resistance. But once I actually moved that candy around, it actually pulled out very smoothly. But if I was to do this again, I would actually not um, have any grass under the heart so it can create more space for you to actually have it to pull out smoothly. But I hope you guys give this a try. Let me know how it turns out. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.